told you you're not getting one. I smothered the footy and then I asked him, like, Where, where's your pocket? Like, show me your pocket. When that one went through, I said, sorry, brother. I told you I was getting one. That is one of my favourites and I'd, I'd shake his hand any day. I just still in disbelief that I'm playing, playing amongst the legends like Eddie. Welcome back to Talking Footy. Not everyone liked it, but that was the exchange between Eddie Betts and Sydney Stack on Thursday night at the Adelaide Over, which brings us to Inside 50. Tim, was that one of the best moments of the season? Absolutely. In fact, it might be one of the best moments of the last decade. I absolutely loved it. I thought it was one of the more authentic things that I've ever seen on a footy field. I've heard people say, what if that had been in the last minute and the scores had been... But it wasn't. It was at a time where both players were able to rejoice in what had taken place. And Brilliant. I, lo I love the naturalness of all that. Yeah. Long may it last in our game. Well said. Well said. Wayne, has a change of coach helped Charlie Curnow? I'm not sure whether it's a change of coach, but clearly he's, he's played better footy in the last couple of weeks, hasn't he? His attack on the footy has been very, very different to what it was prior. Uh, whether that's a confidence in his body, whether he's got his body right, but he seems to be covering the ground better, attacking the footy in the air. He's a star. And to be honest, his first part of the year was, was obviously really disappointing. So starting to do what we all thought this young man could do. And that's why Carlton supporters should be very, very excited. They've got a number of those guys. Luke, did Friday night's win show that the Bombers have turned the corner? Look, I think uh, it was a step forward for Essendon. I'm a, a, a bit of a fan of, uh, of their list. I think they've had a disappointing start to the year. Thursday night footy over in the West. I give them a sneaky chance, Essendon. I think they might be able to build on this back half of the year after a good win. Tim, is Harry Himmelberg the most underrated player in the AFL? No, I don't think he's the most underrated player in the AFL, but he did something yesterday. He gave away a 50-metre penalty... Uh, which resulted in a North Melbourne goal, I think, at the other end of the ground. Well, it certainly was a goal that was taken off the Giants. And some players go into their shell after something like that. He exploded. From that time on, he was probably close to the best player on the ground with the work that he did. So I reckon that spoke volumes of what he's capable of doing. And I'm sure that Leon Cameron would like to see him build on that because he took that game by the scruff of the neck yesterday. So... That is what he's capable of doing. Luke, why hasn't Jack Billings re-signed with St Kilda? Yeah, that'd be concerning uh, if I was in charge or anything to do with the Saints. He's their A-grader. They've been looking for an A-grader for a number of years. And great to see that talent come together on a consistent basis. He's got fit. He looks match hard and uh, offer him everything you can, St Kilda. You've got to keep Jack Billings. Wayne, uh, based on this footage, would Tex Walker have the messiest house in Adelaide? Oh, come on. That's a, that's a little bit uh, harsh, I would have thought, Mick. You'll see Although, here Nathan Broad. Yeah, Nathan Broad picking it up. I think one of the... Give him the benefit of the doubt there. He's taken a bit of uh, thumb tape off. Don Pike's come over to have a chat to him. He would have been deep in thought. Uh, deep in thought, just drop it well, on the ground. And yeah, no, I, I, someone else pick it up? Yeah, well, well done to Broad um, <laughs> for picking it up. Um, but... Oh, look, what are, you, what are you trying to read into there? <laughs> he just threw a little bit of tape on the ground. I don't think it's that big a deal, is it? <laughs> I'm asking you this question. You know what he's doing? Creating jobs. Should the AFL fine him? I think that's where Michael... Is that where you... I do think he should get a fine for that. No, nah, look, I, I think sometimes <laughs> when you're on the ground, you don't know, you know, you just got a bit of tape, the coach comes up, he probably didn't even know he did it. Did you used to go around the rooms and clean up like Trent Cotchin often does? Uh, no, but I would have put my taping in the bin. Yeah. Actually, maybe not. <laughs> the, champ, the champ would have had somebody that did that. <laughs> he would have had a team of people doing all of that for him.